So what we have here, Air Gunners, is my new to me 2019 F-150 4x4. Nothing fancy, no leather seats, nothing like that. But I did take an opportunity to go ahead and hop this thing up to really meet my needs. And that's one of the reasons why I went with one of the regular XLT models for the 2019 Ford F-150. Now, of course, you can do all of these things to your Chevy, your GMC, whatever truck that you have. So keep that in mind. Mine just happens to be a Ford. Um, so first things first, you're probably looking up here and you're noticing this beautiful diamond back cover. This thing is solid aluminum. And one of the reasons I went with that was because when I go to airgun shows or airgun events, I oftentimes have a lot of expensive gear in here. And those typical tonneau covers, I mean, a simple knife right on through and all of my stuff is exposed and probably going to get stolen. So I did not want to have that happen. I wanted to make sure that I go into a restaurant out with friends or anything in the evening and have everything really, really secure. And this happens to be the H. D or heavy duty model. That means I can actually park an ATV up here. And although I don't have an ATV, I really like that option because I can also put lumber up here, firewood, whatever I want, strap it down with the cleats that we've got going on here that come pre-installed. And I absolutely love it. I've had it on here now for probably, well, since December, Jan yeah, well, January, I guess. And if you haven't watched, I did do an install video on this. So you can kind of get an idea of A, how it's installed and be really how solid built this thing is. All right, so next on this product list is the tent. This is by Inspired Overland. And I'll tell you what, absolutely love it. I've had a chance to sleep in it now, super comfortable. Uh, you guys may or may not know I'm an Eagle Scout, so I've done 50 mile backpacking trips. I've done 50 mile canoe trips, spent a lot of time out in the woods growing up. And although I love backpacking and the ruggedness of it, there's something to be said about getting off the ground and having a nice foam cushion inside the tent. And then also the ease of setting this up when I get to a range or I get someplace I'm gonna be spending the night. That is utterly the most important thing I can do because I wanna get here, I wanna get comfortable, and this is allowing me to do that. So watch how quick I can get this thing set up. Are you ready? Go ahead and set your watches because it's pretty dang on quick and compare it to setting up a regular tent this thing is awesome. Are you ready? Go. Another feature of the Diamondback that I really love is it allows me to walk up here, set gear underneath here, keep it in the shade on hot summer days like this. So tell you what, man, both of these combined, and again, the Yakima HD racks, lifesaver when it comes to air gunning if you're planning on traveling from one event to another. All right, enough talking. I got to keep setting this up. Now, this does come with a ladder. Again, I don't have it right now. I'm not going to take my time to set that up. This is just to give you a taste of what this tent looks like and how quickly it gets set up. And that's it, other than getting my sleeping bag, pillow, and anything I want for the night, the tent is set up. We have three doors, one on each side and one in the front. So you can put that ladder anywhere you want. And I like to put it on the side over here because that way I can access what is in here next. So let's go ahead and open this up. Guys, welcome to my air gun lab back here. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what we got going on. I did take some time to put some electricity back here with 12 volts. I've got the Omega trail charger compressor back here. So I'll never run out of air and I'll show you how that's hooked up here in a little bit. And of course we got a review of this coming. I've got my Evol here. This is my Evol in 22 caliber. If you have not seen this, um, there is a video out there. Matter of fact, I might put a link to it. I'm gonna put a link to it right up here so you can check it out uh, by Mountain Sport Air Gunners. 
Dana takes this air gun, drags it behind the car, throws it off a cliff, and it submerses it in a spa or a hot tub with tons of chlorine, and the thing just won't die. I mean, the thing is a solid rock and super accurate. So this is a higher level, level air gun as far as price goes, but man, oh man, you get a lot of quality for what you're buying. And I'll tell you what, I love how it shoots. We'll get to that later. Again, there will be a link in the description showing this air gun out on the range. So go check that out afterwards if you want to see about the Evol 22 Mini that I have right here. Like I said, I mentioned the Omega uh, Trail Compressor. This is a water-cooled compressor. It has antifreeze in it, so even during the winter, it's not going to freeze. And I have it held up here on some built right industry molly panels that were made specifically for this truck they make them for gmc they make them for chevy a lot of different vehicles that they make them for but allow me to put some handgun magnets on here and attach the compressor now you're probably thinking yeah right how long is that going to hold up there well i've been driving it with two of those magnets hold 45 pounds each for pretty much for three months now of the year and it is rock solid back here with both of those magnets holding it together. It's got a rubber faceplate on those magnets, so no marring on the back side here. Now, would I take it over landing like hardcore? No, probably not. But for an air gun enthusiast like myself, this is perfect. Come a little closer though. I want you to see exactly how I got this set up though. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and of course, ring that bell. All right, guys, here's the Omega Trail. On this side of this, you might or might not already know this, but this is a vehicle style compressor. It comes with an adapter so you can do 120 at your home using an outlet, but I really got it just for this purpose. And this is nice. It has alligator clips for you to go ahead and charge it on your battery or charge your air guns off your battery power. But I took it a step further and check this out. Use Anderson pole connectors that Nor, the Dollar Sportsman, helped me out with. Thank you, Nor. Worked out great, by the way. And I can unhook my alligator connectors here, leave those there, and take this and plug it into the 12 volts that I ran back here. Watch this. Hear that magnet snap in there? Plug it into my 12 volts. Now, usually I would want to turn on the vehicle to get this thing running, but since I'm just doing a quick demonstration, I'm not going to do that. It's now on. Hit start. And there we go. Now I am pumping up my Evol. Any air gun that I brought to the range is going to pump up. And again, I'm going to have a nice review on this because I'm absolutely loving the Omega Trail compressor. Let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the truck bag and see what else we got in store for you. All right, now on this side of the truck bed, again, I have another built right industry panel over here that I've attached a couple things to. And one of the things that they sold that really sold me on these panels was they have a tank holder that you can pick up that attaches right to the panel. And that's where I have my Omega Patriot air cylinder from Air Guns of Arizona hooked up. And look at this thing, it is not moving. And yet I can also take it off to fill it in from my big compressor back home, or I can take it out and take it to the bench or leave it right here and I have a beautiful working platform for all of my air gun stuff. So absolutely in love with this. I love the quick handle here. Uh, the hose, the big gauge right on top so I can see exactly what I'm filling up. Guys, it is absolutely a great, great product. The other thing that I did that's kind of unique is I picked up a watertight container from Cabela's. I think it was $9.99. They had one of them left and I grabbed it. And I installed some USB switches to help charge my batteries. You guys all know that I'm shooting the Delta Wolf, shooting a Red Wolf, and in case I need to charge any batteries, I got now have a USB adapter. I have my 12 volt cigarette lighter, and it's all run off of a power switch right here. So I can turn the power on and off to these USB ports to the cigarette lighter and charge anything I need, whether it be a cooler on these hot days or just my camera equipment when I'm putting videos together for you guys. So did that, ran power to that, uh, just off of the same power cord that I'm running the compressor off of. Obviously, again, you're gonna wanna keep track of your battery on the vehicle to make sure you don't run, run it down and can't start your vehicle. But, you know, in a pinch, this stuff can really, really save some time and maybe not save your life, 
but save me an extra trip to the range when the batteries on the camera die. So, guys, this is it. This is my build. So far, there's probably going to be more to it in the end. I want to know what you guys think. Do you guys like this? Was it worthwhile? Do you think it's going to be worthwhile? Is it something that you're interested in doing? Uh, let me know because I had a lot of fun doing this and I'm still, like I said, it's a work in progress. So there might be some additional things that I throw into the mix, but if you got any ideas, leave them down below. Until next time, guys, make sure you get out to range. Go have some fun. Enjoy your air gunning. And uh, as always, make sure that trigger pull stays smooth and those pellets fly straight. We'll see you right here on the Air Gun Advisor.